gorgeous out. Welcome everybody. My name is Lisa and welcome to Pressure Crisp. Today we're doing a viewer requested recipe. Adam from the UK uh, donated on PayPal. Thank you very much by the way. So he requested a whole chicken made in the new Ninja Foodi one lid. We're going to do the steam crisp function on that. one whole fresh chicken and you always have to add water using the steam crisp function so we're going to add a half a cup of water it also said the juice of two lemons so we're going to use the juice of two why do I have three I don't know but we're going to use two I've got whole black peppercorns in here I've got garlic which I'll take care of right here and do you guys remember I'm not sure if that video is out or not I can't remember is it out no uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that video has come out or not. I have to check, but I did make, oh yeah, I did a prime yeah, rib. You're going to see that one. I saved the, I call them the sticks of the rosemary and the thyme. So I'm going to put that in the cavity. Then I also have some leftover rosemary and thyme that I used from the other day. And of course we need salt and pepper. Also, I'm going to be using some avocado oil. And that's it. So let me get... Let's get the water part done and out of the way because once we put the chicken on here, then we have to clean everything up. So we're gonna do the juice of two lemons. Whoops, we got that. I have the bowl already in. I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of water. So we're just gonna juice these lemons. You can put a fork in it, I'm just using my hands. There, there's. And you don't have to worry about the seeds. Just leave the seeds right in there. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. Beautiful. What else are we doing? Oh, some peppercorns. Let's grab some black peppercorns. I'm just going to take them right out of my magnum. Whoops. That's about good. Because this is, we're just using these as aromatics. And just going to take those, the sticks, the leftover sticks, and put them in there. Also, since I have it in the house, if you didn't have it in the house, don't worry about adding extra. It's not a big deal. Take a sprig of rosemary, I mean, take a sprig of thyme. I'm also going to add a rosemary. Here's some little ones. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. A little bit of rosemary and add that. So I'm going to take care of the garlic and we're going to go ahead and add that. So I'm actually going to save two of these lemons. I'm going to put the rest of them down the food processor. Or if you have a compost pile, go ahead and compost. What did I do? There's the garlic. So we're going to also going to put some garlic in here. And like I said, you're just using most of this stuff. This is just going to give the chicken a little bit of the aromatics. Hopefully it'll permeate the meat. All right, so I'm just gonna take, there's one garlic. This one smashed the bits, and that's fine. I'm just tossing them in the bowl. The bowl's over to the right. I'm gonna stick with four. Ah, I smashed this one, so I might as well use it. There, we use five. Let me get rid of this. So that's what that looks like. Well, kind of tipped, but yeah. Just like that, it's gorgeous. Next up is our chicken. Let me just move this stuff. I don't wanna get it all chickenized. There we go. We have a, let me get some paper towels. I know this is not environmentally friendly. However, I don't want chicken drippings everywhere. All right, so this is a beautiful chicken. So like a chicken like this, I will save the bones and actually make bone broth with, with it because it's an organic chicken. And I probably should do a video on the bone broth too. Or like I make bone broth slash stock. So let me push this, whoops. Yeah, all right. Ah, let's move this back just a bit. So what we're gonna do before we truss the legs, I'm gonna take one of those lemons, we're just gonna put it in the cavity. 
and make sure your hands clean if you're going to go in. Take a rosemary and we're going to take a little bit of thyme. This is how easy cooking is. You just, oh, cooking is so forgiving and, and I'm just going to rough this up in my hand to expel some of those aromatics. And then we're going to take the other lemon and just put it right in the cavity. I was going to add salt and pepper, but not going to. You can, by all means, go ahead and add some salt and pepper to this. I'm going to take a string. And I'm not the best at this. I don't even know if I'm doing it proper, but this is what I do just to tie the legs together. I just wrap it around. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if this is the right way, wrong way. This is what works for me, and I just stick with it. Get some scissors here. There. Go back up through here. And yeah, I'm gonna tie this up. And half the time you don't even need to tie it because it'll just automatically it just stays because it's like wrapped around the legs so many times. There we go. And I'm just going to tuck that string down. And that has to be washed. Put that in the sink. And look at that. He's beautiful. A lot of times I like to tuck the wings so they don't get burnt. But he is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking bird. Truly, truly. All right, next up what we're going to do is I'm actually going to Take a little bit of this spray. I'm just going to put this up just so prevent some overspray here. The reason why I'm spraying this is because I want some of the salt and the pepper to adhere to this chicken. I'm just going to take kosher salt, just sprinkle it over the top. Beautiful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Then I'm going to take some fresh black pepper. This is just a basic bird. I mean, it's classic to me. You know it's going to taste good. And that's all we're going to do to that chicken. That's it. We're going to place, try to place this thermometer in the thickest part of the chicken. It's very difficult. Um, they had a picture of it. Yeah, it goes in the front. So we're going to go right into the front here. Just, that's in. Now we're going to place it in the air crisp basket. Let me move it over. Is he going to fit like this? Let's see. Yes, he does. The thermometer is bent just a bit. I think I've washed my hand 10 times. It's no wonder my hands crack and peel and everything else. I'm going to add the aromatics here, the aromatic ceramic pot. That's what that looks like. Let me just tip in so you guys can see. That's what that pot looks like right there. Now we're going to go ahead and add the chicken. Now I want to place this. Ouch. Spin it around just a bit because we're going to take the thermometer out. Can you let me go up just so you guys can see that? Thermometer's right here. This is the model that has a thermometer. We're going to take that out, put that somewhere safe because you don't want to lose it. And then we're going to plug that thermometer in. Take one last look at our bird. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and lower the lid. We're going to turn it on. You're going to slide it to steam crisp. It's already, it defaults to steam crisp and I've got pepper on my finger. Now the temperature, we're going to bring it down to 365. Whoops, 365. Now the preset, we're going to preset beef, preset, nope, preset beef, oh here we go, fish, nope, chicken. We're going to do preset chicken and we're just going to press start. Now, how easy is that? I mean, I'm trying to, this is my first time actually doing it, so I actually have to read the book just a bit. But the more you use this, I mean, it's totally, totally amazing, this machine. And I can't believe I let it sit in the box for a few months. I know, I know, I did. However, everybody out there, if you have this, don't be afraid of it. Just jump right in and just use it. Or you can always watch my videos, too. While this is preheating, I did want to point out, this is what I do with the thermometer. I actually place it right into this black thermometer that goes onto the side. And I just put it back here so I don't lose it. All right, so it's been, I didn't time it and I should have, I apologize for that. However, it's been less than an hour and we're already up to 168 degrees. 169, we're almost there, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. 
We can do this. We can do this. Yes. And it has ended. I'm going to take you up to the top for a quick second. I'll show you what this thing does. Watch the steam. Watch when I'm going to turn it to the right. Steam. We're going to open the lid. Ooh. Let's take you for a little ride in there. That is gorgeous. It looks really good. So since it's open, I am going to take a... Oh, you fell down. Let me pick you back up again. This new tripod sucks. Okay. I am going to poke it just a bit right here. Yeah, I think it's done. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to unplug the thermometer first. Make sure you use a pot holder or something to take this out. There we go. It's going to be hot. Now this is going to drip a bit. So if you, like Mike, yeah, I just get it on the floor because I don't have counter space to the right. The refrigerator's there, so I have to come back out and to the left. So I'm just going to take some pot holders here. So I'll be mopping the floor later. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to use a wooden spoon. That should work, hopefully. Take a pot holder to hold the dish slash container. I'm going to see how we're going to be able to take this out without ruining the bird. Let's see if I can get it right in the cavity there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, maybe not. All right, we got it. I'm, oh, there's nothing under there. I'm going to put it right on the plate. There we go. And we used a wooden spoon to take it out. I'm going to take the thermometer out. So it looks very good. I'm afraid his legs might come off if I pick them up a bit. I'm just trying to look at the underneath. All right, so it's a little pale underneath. He did get a few brown marks around the edge. I can, oh, I can smell, I can smell the lemon. It looks fantastic, look at that. It's been resting for about 10 minutes because I was able to do all the dishes. It is still steaming a bit in the back, if you can see, but I do have the air conditioning on because we are in Florida. So, let's see. Yeah, that's crispy. Crispy, crispy. So let's, uh, I'm gonna take this little wing off here. Sorry, put that to the side. That's my snack, I love, I love the wings. I do wanna cut into the breast, I just wanna see if it's moist. It's gonna hold it with a fork and then try to cut it with this knife. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely, let me cut it again. Beautiful. I'm going to give you an honest opinion of what I think of the steam crisp function. How does the meat taste? How does it compare to like a roasted chicken? I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not gonna pump this machine up, you know, just say, hey, you know, you can steam crisp a chicken in less than an hour, blah, blah, blah. You know, so let's take a look at the meat here. It's still quite warm. It's moist, but a little dry, if that makes sense. Um, it's, I don't, I got meat caught in my mouth. Excuse me. Better? Okay. I don't want to say it tastes rubbery, but it's kind of rubbery. I don't know how to explain it, that term. It's different than a roast chicken. However, it's still good. Yeah, it's kind of... It's a different texture than a roasted chicken. If you have this, by all means, give this a whirl just to see if you like it. It's worth it. You can get a very... Chickens are usually inexpensive. Get it on sale or whatever. There. So... It's good, but see, it's moist there, but dry. I don't know how to explain it. So I can tell you... Honestly, what's going to happen with this bird? This bird is going to dry out. I already know what's going to happen. Um, but, you know, I'll make sandwiches with it, and then I'm going to take the bones. If I remember, I will do a bone broth slash stock video, and I'll use it in the 
I'll use the new one because I used to do it in the old one, but I never did a video on it. It's just, you know, if I have an organic bird, I like to make stock from those bones. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The skin, the, I mean, the chicken looks beautiful. Totally, totally, totally gorgeous. But yeah, just a different function to give it a try. I would, however, like to try one from Frozen, but I think that might be, I think, yeah, no, I don't think so. Because I think it'll be too tough then. That's what I want to say. It's like rubbery tough. It's like a little tough compared to a roasted chicken. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's completely bad. I just wanted to try this out. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you've tried this method, leave a comment down below and let me know how you like it and how you compare it to a roasted chicken. And once again, thank you so much everybody. I appreciate you all watching my videos. And stay tuned for more with the Ninja Foodie One Lid, the Ninja Grill, the Ninja Oven, and the Creamy. I even, pardon me, I even have the hot and cold blender over there. I, I think I'm a Ninja Foodie addict, but yeah. So yeah, thank you.